Determining unknown angles in complex composite figures. In this problem, we're given that ABC is a triangle. We're given angle ABC, which is 40 degrees. We're also given angle ACB, which is 70 degrees. We're given that BE DC is a straight line. So this line down here is a straight line. And we're also given that angle BAE is equal to angle EAD. So we know that these angles are equal to each other. Okay. Since we don't know what these are called, we're going to label them as Y right now. Because they're equal, we're going to call them Y. All right. Also, what we need to find is angle EAC. As this angle here. So this is the angle that we ultimately need to find, angle EAC. Before we find that, we can find this much larger angle, angle BAC. And we can also find this smaller angle right here, angle DAC. Okay, so let's first find angle DAC, and we're going to call this X. Okay. We know that since this smaller triangle is a nine is a right triangle, it has a 90 degree angle. So we know that this is 90 degrees. And we know that this angle beside it is 70. So we know that 90 plus 70 plus x equals 180 degrees. Simplifying this, we have 160 plus x equals 180. And if we subtract both sides by 160, we're left with x equaling 20 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the x right here. And I'm going to write 20 degrees. This is 20 degrees. OK, now let's find this much larger angle. OK, we'll call this angle z. OK, we know that this much larger angle, angle z, OK, we have 40 degrees, we have 70 degrees, and we know that if we add these together with Z, we're going to have 180. So 40 plus 70 plus Z equals 180. Okay, if we simplify this, we get 110 plus Z equals 180. If we subtract 110 from both sides, we know that Z is going to be equal to 70 degrees. So again, I'm going to go ahead and erase so I'm going to write this as 70 degrees, and this was 20, this got erased. Okay, so we are almost there. We are almost there. Okay, so to find, to find this angle right here, to find EAC, we know that this is 20 degrees. We know that this entire thing is 70 degrees. Okay, so we can figure out this angle now. Okay. 70 degrees minus 20 degrees gives you this angle right here. Okay. That is going to be so 70 minus 20 that gives us 50 degrees. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the work up here. Okay. Okay. So we know that this angle, okay, we know that these separate angles are equal to each other. We know that this angle is going to be equal to 70. So 70 minus 20, which is 50 degrees. So we know that this giant angle is 50 degrees. We know that if you added the x's together, so x plus x, that is going to equal, that is going to equal 50 degrees. Okay, so each of these individual angles, okay, so if you divide both sides by eight, by two, you're given that x is equal to 25. Okay, so each of these angles is 25, this is 25, and this one was 20. So our final answer, angle EAC is 25 plus 20, 
So angle EAC is equal to 25 plus 20, which is equal to 45 degrees. Final answer.